Organization for Animal Advocacy, and that club, BOA, was my first introduction to activism. We're out here today because we want Berkeley to ban meat and become the vegan city and the animal rights capital of the United States that we know it can be because Berkeley's been on the forefront of social justice movements throughout history and animal rights is the next social justice movement. You know, the way we're treating animals right now is an injustice, it's an oppression and a discrimination based just on their species. What makes DXC's open rescues really special is that they're public. You know, once these animals have been rescued and they're safe, we come forward with their stories. We each get as much press coverage as we can. We've been in the New York Times, Washington Post, Huffington Post, ABC News. You know, we want their animals to be ambassadors for their cause and to get their stories out into the public so people can see what's actually happening to these animals. I've been in rescues before, and one I was participated in that was covered in the Daily Cal actually was a rescue of two chickens from a cage-free egg farm. And I didn't know until I got there what a cage-free egg farm would look like, you know, all you really know is there's no cages. But in fact, it's just a giant shed, and inside are thousands of birds crammed together, so that instead of cages of metal, they're just living in cages of flesh. I heard that you guys are gathered here for one message. Can I hear what couple of messages? Stop using animals. Stop exploiting animals. In the city of Berkeley, if we can get that to happen, then the rest of the world will follow because Berkeley has led the way before and Berkeley will lead the way again on this issue. Thank you.